So a very warm welcome to you all. And uh, we have uh, with us uh, Sanjay Singhal, who is the COO for Dairy and Beverage Business at ITC. Uh, uh, since ITC has been into an integrated play, and we see a lot of uh, activity from ITC also, uh, and, and you have been into procurement, you are into processing, and also now looking at uh, the last mile connect, you have that, but now into dairy also, going strongly into different products. So, sir, how do you see the current situation of uh, inflation in Indian dairy? And uh, your thoughts on how, uh, like, if I look at 2021 or past, and going into uh, future, you see the impact of price increase on the dairy industry. Sanjay. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Shiva. And... Uh... Thanks for uh, inviting uh, uh, inviting uh, from ITC. It is always a pleasure to meet uh, uh, dairy people, and uh, that is a great thing. So, see, as you mentioned, that while ITC Chopal and ITC's uh, uh, ITC's presence in rural India has been there for many years, and we uh, we had a very we have a very large. Uh, a farmer or uh, milk animal development program that is done across the India. The front end of that, which is taking our uh, iconic brand Ashikbar into fresh dairy business, has only started four years back uh, from in one city, which is where Mr. Dr. Rajeshwaran is sitting, which is Patna, and in Bengal. So, to that extent, we are a very, very new entrance into the fresh dairy space. Though we are, a, uh, we are amongst the top two or three. Uh, package food suppliers in the country. So I think the way I looked at it, the, uh, the last year, obviously, Shiva, you have kindly, uh, absolutely uh, uh, summed up the how the uh, year went last year. Of course, the year went very well for dairies because uh, the value-added part of the dairy category, be it lassi or be it uh, other products, they really grew over the previous lockdown week. So I think a lot of us got that benefit of the base effect of value added. And hence, beyond the 10% you are talking top line growth, there's also been a good growth in margins, uh, led by benevolent tailwinds in raw material prices that continued into the last year, which have continued in the current year, and also by the uh, benevolent consumer demand on categories like curd or cheese or other categories. However, I mean, we all know that Indian dairy industry is cyclical because of the relative the protected nature of our industry versus the global headwinds of equalizing measures. So to that extent, uh, I mean, obviously, the tide is turning, the cycle is turning. And I think given, as you have said, the last two, three weeks, SMP of butter data and the price increases we have seen uh, at the farm gate and even in consumer prices. So for example, uh, I mean, uh, in Bihar today, I think a pouch milk one liter tone will be most the most expensive in the country today. And that's and mind you, that's the lowest per capita income state, state in the country probably. So the tide is turning. The tide has turned, and obviously it promises to my mind to be one of the most inflationary periods, right? Next two, three years uh, for dairy. And obviously, uh, I mean, uh, this is going to be very difficult. But however, if I contextualize that to give your audience a measure of what is happening in the larger food space. See, our other businesses like uh, noodles or snacks or uh, biscuits, they have had huge price inflation because you know that palm oil has run through and continues to run through. Sugar is expensive. Packaging is expensive. Freight is expensive. So I think to that extent, there's a certain resilience in the Indian farmer because it is so inherently linked to the farmer's income. Dairy is the largest source of income for a farmer, right? So, and I think that uh, the fact that India is a large consumption market, I think that this industry is there much, much better in terms of uh, top line and definitely in terms of margins than practically every other food industry or personal care industry. So while we can say that we are entering a period, two years, three years, who knows, of inflation in dairy, I think that the way this industry has managed itself uh, gives me a lot of confidence that we will come out winners. And when I see winners, I'm being very careful because I don't think in dairy industry, I have learned from stalwarts, uh, I'm not a dairy person, winning is not about making better contribution margin or better margin for your company. 
winning is about carrying the entire ecosystem including the farmer and your partners to it so that is what winning i have learned from dairy people is and i am confident that we will carry everybody and we will continue winning uh, as india goes forward since i think uh, you gave a good uh, comparison also because you have dealing in different other products apart from dairy so thanks for that insight i think that was really helpful to understand how as a uh, food company you are looking at dairy and other uh, non dairy food uh, sectors also i think uh, that's a good starting point uh, different uh, constituents like packaging and transportation uh, so maybe your views in terms of uh, how do you see as a food processing company the impact of these factors and uh, do you see role of alternatives also like if we uh, think of packaging then uh, recycle packaging comes into my mind and i've seen a lot of news globally now the the demand for recycle packaging has shot up right now because uh, the uh, virgin packaging prices actually are going through the roof so what your view on uh, how you see as a food company in terms of managing these uh, factors uh, besides the feed side see i feel really pain okay as a, as a, as a marketer that today we are in a situation in this country where the farm gate price of milk in many states is equal to the farm gate price in new zealand or here and the consumer price of a liter of milk irrespective of packing side much more is equal to the price of milk in a developed country which basically means that we are doing something wrong as doctor saab said in the milk supply chain that an urban an urban driver or a urban maid cannot afford to give a glass of milk to his or her child and doctor saab talked about the inelasticity of elasticity and after that the farmer is stuck with the same income of 2000 3000 rupees from milk so that is a dilemma doctor saab talked about the price is going up every year farmer income is not going up so the question is that where is the where is the benefit of efficiency so, so the benefits of efficiency are not being recovered number 2 doctor saab to add to doctor saab's point the indian dairy industry is amongst the lowest pbit percentage industry in this country even among the mcg you forget about it etc etc so inherently there is something structurally wrong this industry is structured that like neither is the grower making money neither is the manufacturer making money and you are selling the most expensive milk to the consumer and neither so what is wrong with the industry i think that is what dr sahab's analysis of paper has raised to us and hence i think that why it is a very noble initiative to talk about sustainability and itc has done a lot of work on sustainability we are known for sustainability across but see i am saying that for the dairy consumer and the dairy farmer i think the biggest thing is to really crack the level of returns that each constituent are making our milk pouches are 100% recycled so to my mind i mean yes there are solutions uh, which are available and we are doing some of them but to my mind is this the number 2 3 or even 5 priority for the industry right now looking at the point dr sar made and i was making that actually i mean why we may be happy ki we are the largest grower of milk the fact is that neither can my mero driver afford a cup of milk for his daughter neither can the farmer make money i think the larger battles to fight right now shiva as i must yeah understood i think uh, still we are into an evolving stage as when we talk about informal to formal uh, market is still very informal so there is bound to be this kind of uh, uh, disproportionate uh, uh, i will say imbalance which is happening so point is taken yes but uh, i think it will take its own time in terms of how we can become more efficient across the value chain uh, one question from our friend tanveer alam thanks tanveer uh, he is saying that you have created a, a market for uh, potato from 36 rupees kg to potato chips worth 360 rupees per kg so what kind of challenges you are seeing right now in uh, replicating the same strategy in the dairy product side so basically Uh, I, I guess consumer pays uh, consumer pays a price for the value he or she gets, and the value is basically MRP divided by the benefit. So, for example, I will give you one example. I mean, uh, ultimately, a pouch of milk is a milk. Now, uh, it's how you give the uh, you you give a superior product, and how you also communicate the value proposition to the consumer. 
and gyan i know gyan dehli has done some very good work on that also but uh, uh, one example of something we done in calcutta in a small way and please keep in mind hamare sab 40 saal hue hain dehli mein is that you know we said that one of the biggest problems in dehli industry or milk in india right now is that the consumer thinks ki chai dur kaisa dur dur mein milawat hai usme pani mila hua hai usme bhi mila hua hai that is every consumer's problem so we we actually in calcutta have a variety of milk we are launching where basically with every pack you get a code which is unique to that pack and that code can be scanned at sixth block in the morning by the consumer and the consumer can download through whatsapp or whatever email or uh, web a report card a quality report card of that pack and through that we are able to give good quality milk and also charge us rupees 2 rupees premium ha huh, per liter to the consumer but we know in this category 2 rupees means much uh, a large a significant margin so i think that we do not want to charge a superlative premium to the consumer because we have, i also understand that milk is expensive in india we want to give a good product and but we don't want to create a inflationary environment in the indian milk space i don't think that will be good for anybody okay another question linked to that audience question from rajiv banavat uh, so basically it's more about uh, uh, looking at this market segment and again we are talking i think more on uh, value side where uh, inflation price may not matter much so do you see more such kind of corporates like itc uh, whether they are non dairy in india or global companies coming in, in india do you see more of that kind of play in future playing in particularly in this kind uh, of segment Well, a lot of them are already there, right? A lot of them are already there. Uh, I think the critical challenge for a corporate like ITC or a company like, uh, from outside India is that milk pools are damn difficult to create in India, and that has been the bane, as you all know, in terms of a lot of uh, MNCs trying to enter India. So I think that yes, companies get very excited about a huge. Indian five lakh crore, six lakh crore market. By far, if I look at even from ITC, our largest brand is Ashirwad Atta, but even or our Sunfeast biscuit. But they are operating in categories which are one tenth of the Indian dairy industry. So while it is very exciting and enticing, but often when the rubber hits the road, we discover that it takes years of work to get the milk pools. to do even 100 crores of business so i think that is where the core challenge is yes there will be people coming we have always seen people coming acquiring and people are acquiring as you know across india for milk pool creation and that we have seen happening so that will happen but i think that the great thing about this industry is to do sab pite hain as amul ka jo headline hai amul doodh pita hai india so basically doodh sab pite hain to is industry mein ye aisi industry hai given the size इस इंडस्ट्री में छोटा बड़े सब नेक रहेंगे और आई थिंक इन द फ्यूचर छोटा फार्म भी रहेगा बड़ा फार्म भी रहेगा आई थिंक दैट दिस इंडस्ट्री विल बी एन ओवर एवरग्रीन इंडस्ट्री गोइंग फॉर थैंक्स संजय आई एग्री विद योर स्टेटमेंट आई थिंक potentially huge that way and we have been talking about shift from informal to formal markets clearly more and more such kind of activity i think will uh, lead to much more uh, you can say uh, professionalism in the industry much more supply chain uh, uh, you can say organization uh, strengthening of the linkages in the value chain so the last uh, is more about uh, the outlook i think we touched upon that in between but we are looking at uh, situation where like initially uh, sanjay mentioned about uh, the inflation continuing for uh, coming years so it's basically uh, now we are looking at summary in terms of understanding how you see the outlook for dairy industry in india going forward whether you look at from demand side or uh, even supply sources maybe from feed side or from dairy side like sanjay talked about uh, different other perspectives and also in terms of understanding how this will uh, help support dairy farmers going forward whether there is a need to find uh, technological solutions like there are few startups who are doing some work at farm level whether you are doing that thing on their own or you are looking to collaborate with this kind of uh, uh, people at that value chain part uh, in terms of value chain partner so what has what is your thought in terms of looking at uh, coming years as an industry player uh, how this industry will pan out and the inflation how it will impact so sanjay i will start with you on this okay so thanks so you know uh, it is interesting you ask because we just start closing out our our plan for dairy and other businesses of itc for the next 5 years 
So if I look at that, I mean, one thing is clear that why it will be an inflationary year. Uh, I mean, it's, it's an inflationary year in terms of milk and in terms of petrol or fuel, but the inflation is going to hit this industry lesser than many other categories. To that extent, this category, as I was saying earlier, is, uh, let us say, uh, suitably insulated. Uh, however, uh, I think the other part which will play out in the coming year uh, is that uh, we will see a very good summer. The dairy industry has had two bad summers and the ice cream guys, as you know, have had very, very bad summers. So I think to a certain extent, while uh, uh, milk prices are going up, farm gate prices, there is a contraction, there will be a contraction in the margins of manufacturers in, uh, in pouch milk. I think they will regain and gain a lot in terms of value added top lines and uh, hence uh, they will be able to manage their uh, margins in the coming year at least. Looking at technology now, so I see I see that uh, it will be good, another good year for dairy companies. You may not get fantastic bottom line growth, you certainly continue to get good top line growth because of value added. Uh, now looking at technology, yes, we also have a small pair adopting technology in the procurement in uh, even uh, direct credit to the farmers, uh, direct cash in their accounts, in terms of uh, our own milk sales. Uh, we still don't have an app for customers uh, and uh, we have a way to go uh, there. Uh, but certainly we, we want to use a technology, but we don't think that D2C is currently a scale opportunity in the geographies we have. We are not in uh, urban geographies right now, so we don't see that as an opportunity. But we do see D2C, uh, technology as a fantastic efficiency driver in terms of driving a driver to service our farmers in terms of transparency of rates and payments and uh, and, fat, and uh, also in terms of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, driving efficiency of freight, driving efficiency of distribution, etc. So basically, if I sum it up, I think that uh, while it's inflationary here, uh, given that the basis of Valuable products for everyday dairy was so low in the last two years. I think this year we will manage an industry. I think the challenge will be the interest continues the next year. Then I think the game may be very, very difficult for some. Thanks, Sanjay. Uh, I think uh, that's, uh, that will remain a challenge. Maybe not. Uh, immediate but maybe going forward yes thanks a lot for uh, for wonderful insights in the session i think uh, it's always good to get uh, different perspectives uh, on uh, uh, particularly if you look at uh, dairy industry in india and right now in the context of inflation and uh, with this uh, uh, i close the session and look forward to be in touch with you all uh, going forward thank you